Hi guys, how are you doing? Today is on Tuesday and like I said, I will be updating you on what to train. So come with me. I want to take you to class. Uh, my students have gone for lunch. I don't know if you have anyone in class. You can see the class is empty. They have gone to class. So I want to ask, I want to update you on uh, what happened. Uh, what happened with the trades that I gave you. Okay? So this is what I keep telling you guys. To be a successful trader, you need three things. Three things to be a successful trader. Three things. <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching my students. Three things to be successful. Uh-huh. Successful. I hope I've written the word successful, right? Number one, you will always need an entry. In any case, you want to have an entry of a trade. An entry. And an entry is a good strategy. So ask yourself, what is the strategy that I use? I call myself a trader, but what do I use? What is that strategy that I use every day to trade in the market? So you need a good entry. To find a good entry, you need a good strategy. So the trades I gave you yesterday is the strategy that I teach in class. It's a paid strategy and it's called BTB strategy. BTB strategy. So when the strategy is good, you already know that um, you will have a successful trade. Now, when you have a very good strategy you, and, and, and that, of course, it will give you an entry, it involves something we call a target. Target. So a good strategy will always have a, a target. A target, I can define more, is take profit. Take profit. Think of those times that you have been trading with no target. You don't have a take profit, you enter a market, either you buy and sell, and you don't have a target. What happens? What happens? Tell me. Every time you make money in the market and you don't have a target, the market always reverses on you. So you need a target. And again, don't be so greedy in the market. You don't need to target 100 pips, 200 pips. You can start from 20 pips to 50 pips, at least as a beginner. That is your target. And then to be successful as a trader, you need an exit. Exit is a key thing. You can imagine you have entered in a car, it's moving, but you don't know where you're going. You don't know the end of the journey. You will forever be going. Yes, there's movement, but you are not reaching to your destiny. The same thing with our trades. You can enter a trade, it can favor you, but you don't know if it's time to, uh, to exit, it can also uh, reverse on you and you can make losses. And I believe that's how many people, they blow, that's how many people blow. So the three things, these ones will help you to become a good trader. And because yesterday I gave you the trade, we need to follow up, okay? We need to know, do, did they hit our target? Do they have exit? Do we have entry? Okay, so let's concentrate on my chart. Uh, this is my chart. Uh, let's start with, I remember I gave you NZD, NZD USD trade. This is our NZD USD trade. And according to our trade, according to our strategy, BTB strategy, according to BTB strategy, the trade broke above. You can see the trade broke above, suggesting we buy. So the trade broke above, suggesting we buy. And the market just bought how many pips? At least 15 pips. But what happens? The market is retracing. So this kind of a retracement has activated or has, uh, has given us an exit. And that trade, because we always use our exit, you have to have a strategy for your exit. You cannot say, I will exit and you don't have a, a, a strategy. So in this class, or my student or the pay strategy, I use RBV. RBV strategy is for exit. So I use BTB strategy for entry, RBV strategy for exit. So you can have exit like, you can use moving average, you can use support, you can use resistance, you can use indicators, there are people who use indicators, but for, for us we use RBV. So according to RBV strategy, NZUSD is telling us to exit. So if you're watching this video, you have to exit NZUSD. And every time you exit, 
Note, every time you exit, you will never exit with high loss. No, you will always, either you break even, break even, or low loss. I hope you can see. It's either you break even or low loss. So there's no way you can be, oh, it's massive. So if you enter the NZUSD immediately, it broke. Trust me, you are not exiting with massive drawdown. So if you entered around here, you are to break even because it's negative one pip. So kindly, if you here and you are you took this trade, we are exiting because of RBB strategy that suggests to exit. Again, for Audi USD, this is Audi USD pair. Audi USD, when we entered after the breaking of the box, what happened? The market went 20 pips. It went uh, 19 pips there. So for Audi USD, this is what I want you to see. The Audi USD has not given us an exit, okay? This is what I want you guys to, to, to do. Now, number one, this trade, if this candle closes green, don't exit. If it closes green, hold Audi USD. You can still hold this trade. We do not have an exit yet. But if this candle closes red like that and violates this line, if that candle breaks red, if it breaks that red candle, like if that candle closes red and it's below the black line, exit that trade. So if you have a red candle, if Audi USD you find you have a red candle, and I'm saying this is the exit of Audi USD. Audi USD right now we don't have an exit, so uh, that one uh, I'm telling you just uh, you just need to hold on that. For Euro USD, for Euro USD, uh, this is what we have. The market broke above, broke above, and once it broke above, it has given us an exit using using RVB strategy. So again, for Euro USD, even me, I have cancelled Euro USD, and it is 42 pips drawdown. So for Euro USD, if you entered and you are following this trade, just cancel that trade. Euro USD, and I know why these trades they are misbehaving this way is because tomorrow we have major news on Euro USD and we have major news on GBP USD. We have CPI news. That's the reason why the confusion. So just exit Euro USD because I don't want you to be caught in between. The last trade, our oh, USD CHF. This one already you have money because if this trade you enter, if you enter with the breaking of the box, already you have uh, you have how many pips? You have 37 pips. This one again, I want you guys to, to exit. Tomorrow we have major news on USD. I don't want people to be in in this trade because of the misbehaving of GBP USD. And the last one is GBP USD. Where is GBP USD? Let me see. GBP USD. This is our last trade. So this trade, remember when you watched the video yesterday when I was doing analysis, I told guys to, to enter the market and at the end of the day we were taken on a drawdown but the market has come back. That is how the market gets manipulated. But I want us to exit GBP USD because the structure of BTB has been interfered with. And now the only trade that you are holding is Audi USD and I have given you an exit. If this candle closes green, hold it. If it closes red and goes above, below the line, exit. So for GBP USD, I know the reason why this market is behaving this way and I will show you with the news. So this is what we have tomorrow. You can see. This is what we have to follow. So, if you ever are interested to know um, how to trade news, if ever you are ever interested to know how do we trade news, how do we cooperate the fundamental with the technical analysis, this is exactly what we do. So, um, here we have uh, CPI tomorrow, and it's on, it's on GBP USD. CPI and it is 10 a.m. So I don't want people to trade when they CPI because what I have noticed, many of people who follow me, they have small accounts. So if you have a small account, news won't be favorable to you because news is volatile and you can either blow your account by just a retracement. So if you can see, 
if you can see uh, today, the effect of GBP USD was because of the news that we had at 1 a.m., 1 p.m., and also we have news on Canadian dollar and it is CPI. So again, I'm just informing you if you are trading, if you are trading anything with Canadian dollar and you're watching this video before 4 30 just be careful anyway guys i will always be updating you but note the things i have told you three things to be a successful trader you have to always have a good entry you always have to have a good target and a good exit and again guys let me tell you something else you don't you don't enter a trade and you forget about it you have to enter a trade and follow through okay thank you so much guys love you bye bye